natural living education and today we're going to talk about essential oils and toxic free living. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you some nice, curious way to use your essential oils uh, for cleaning, cleaning the house. And I'm going to share immediately with you the screen. So I'm going to share you some slides. Just let me know if you can see everything, if it works. So today I would like to show you, as I say, some nice way to use essential oils for cleaning and also to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and be creative with the essential oils. Because if you are a bit like me, let's be honest, who like do cleaning and a lot of cleaning in the house, in my, you know, I like to keep it uh, a bit of fun and also, you know, inspiring. And in my case, it's nice to use essential oils to make the experience more pleasant. <laughs> so, First, why clean with essential oils? So the main reason to use essential oils is, as you can see, to uh, reduce uh, the use of toxic cleaner. Um, essential oils are a nice way to provide an alternative to cleaning products that are on the market at the moment. And a lot of these products have dangerous chemicals. And some of the, these chemicals can be really bad for the lungs, for the respiratory system, in particular on a long term. So the beauty of the essential oils is to be able to use these oils for cleaning and to just use the natural chemical components. So it's a nice and safe way and is safe to use in the home for yourself, for the people who live in the home, for kids, is safe for pets as well, and for the environment, again, on a long term. They're powerful, they're effective. You know how powerful the essential oils from Butera are. You just need a few drops uh, to create um, an aroma, a nice experience. Um, and they offer lots of options. As I say, you're going to get a little bit creative in how you're going to use the oils. This is how I feel. So you can create a nice aroma, a nice uplifting aroma, and you can use, there are some specific oils that you use as a base for the cleaning products, but at the same time, you can add a few drops of an oil that you like and you find particularly inspiring on that day. So this is the main reason to use the essential oils, so to reduce the use of anything that is toxic. The second reason, and this is one probably of the most important for me, is to use essential oils to reduce waste. Just have a look in your cabinet. You're gonna probably notice that you have a lot of plastic containers. And this is what's happened. When we buy products to clean the house, we're gonna use a lot of plastic. So in, you know, I always been attentive to reduce waste as much as possible. And this is one of the nice way to do it. So it's all about reusing and recycle. So what you're gonna do for every product, you're gonna have a bottle, it could be a spray bottle, uh, usually, as we were mentioned in the classes before, is uh, a glass bottle. Again, try not to use plastic. And you're going to use this bottle basically over and over and over. So it's just a nice way. You will notice how much you can reduce your waste. And this is incredible. As I say, for me, it's one of the important reasons because you're gonna be, you're gonna be, create a greener, sustainable life. And uh, it's the same like with all the doTERRA bottles. You can create products. Uh, once you finish the essential oils, you just reuse the bottle, the container, and you're gonna do the same with this, creating your 
spray bottle, uh, a cleaner, a container for anything. And as I say, today I'm going to focus mainly on products to clean the house because I know Evie in a few sessions will show how to use the oils also, you know, for self-care and skin. But it's going to be the same in terms of reducing the waste. So you're just going to use the container over and over and you will see immediately. Now, a lot of people are saying, why, what essential oils can I use for cleaning? You have some examples here. I kept it nice and simple, and the majority of oils that you're gonna see here are the oils that usually are in the kit, like the family kit. As you can see, lemon, melaleuca, on guard, and clove are good for any types of cleaning, in particular all the citrus oils. Think about it, a lot of products that you see on the shelves got lemon inside like a lemon fragrance uh, but in this case you're going to take the toxic the bad chemicals you got the pure essence of lemon so all the citrus oils are good like lime grapefruit and wild orange as well uh, as you can see in the second uh, you have arborevitae which is mainly indicated for wood i'm going to show you later how to incorporate it in the cleaning then I gave you some ideas for toxic-free laundry detergent. Usually you can use lemon and lavender, but again, you can add any uh, essence you like. As an air purifier, you have some example with eucalyptus, peppermint. You can use wild orange, as we know it's very uplifting. All three are very uplifting for the mood. Um, a fragrance I'm using, and I didn't put it here in the slide at the moment, but it's going to be at the end in the blend uh, you can have after the session, is uh, cinnamon. I find cinnamon very nice, in particular at this time of the year, you know, autumn, winter, coming. And cinnamon is also very uh, good, not just to clean the hair, but it has lots of um, properties for the immune system. Um, now, how can we dilute the oils to create cleaning products? The majority of examples that you see here are probably products that you already have in your house. First, white vinegar. White vinegar has been using for so many years, like from God knows when, and it has purifying properties. So usually uh, white vinegar is useful for cleaning grease and mineral deposits. Anything that is sticky and greasy, using white vinegar is very good. We also have baking soda. Now baking soda is good to absorbing and eliminating odors. Usually when we use baking soda, we leave it to rest on the surface. You have salt. Salt is very good as a scrubbing agent. You can use salt also to create products again for your self care, for the skin. And again, is another one that can be used for greasy situations. Castile soap. I don't know if you know it. I know castile soap because I've been using it a lot. So if you are like me, and you start to create your own products, you might be familiar with castile soap. Castile soap has got so many uses. You can use it for everything. Again, as a base, usually I get the one that is unscented, uh, so it doesn't have any scent. And you can use it as a base for hand soap, body soap, dishwasher, you can use it to make cleaning products, it's just so versatile. You're just gonna need to change the dilution and how much water you can add to it, and then you can add all the essence you like. Uh, then we have olive oil. Olive oil is a natural cleaner, and it's a great good as a polisher for wood. I put leather as well, personally I don't use leather, but if you, uh, want to you know keep the wood or the leather nourished 
olive oil is one of the most helpful ones. Um, just be careful when you use olive oil, in particular on the floor, it can get slippery. So just, you know, let it absorb <laughs> because it's something, you know, we need to be safe. Um, all these oils can be combined with essential oils for any cleaning task. So now I'm going to show you some ways to combine these oils. But you know, when we were saying why we should use essential oils, I say, you know, first is to reduce anything that is chemical, is toxic, to uh, reduce the waste. And also you will find that it's actually cost effective because you will just need a few drops. And then as you can see, all these products are very cheap. And you will dilute it a lot, often using distilled water. So this is another big benefit of starting to create your own products, your own cleaning products. I'm gonna show you some uh, ways to actually create some products. And here maybe you can make some pictures if you would like. And again, I keep it nice and general. Here I'm gonna show you an all-purpose spray. So you can just do it in a spray bottle. As you can see, you're gonna add a fourth cup of white vinegar, one and a three quarter of cup of water, usually distilled water is better, and 30 drops of any essential oil. As essential oils here, you have some example. Now, in terms of how many drops, as you can see, you can, the range is from 10 to 30 drops. So maybe at the beginning, you know, it's a bit like when you're creating your own blend. You need to, um, to try a few experiments to understand exactly how strong or maybe less strong the fragrance is going to be. And depending on how big or small is your glass container. But usually it's around, you know, 10 to 15 minimum. As you can see, the 10 drops are usually for strong fragrances like eucalyptus and peppermint or wild orange. Um, it's not included here, but one of the oils that you can always use for any surface is definitely melaleuca, tea tree oil. It's recognized as antibacterial, so you can use it uh, in your spray bottles to clean any surface. Now, Sometimes people are not too keen into the essence, you know, the, the smell of tea tree oil. But again, if you combine it with lemon, with lavender, it's not going to be too strong. And as you can see, the process is very easy. You're just gonna add all the ingredients into your spray bottles. You just shake it and then it's ready. Uh, so very simple. You, you, Probably familiar with On Guard. On Guard is a protective blend and is a mix of different oils. And again, is um, you can use it on its own, just as you know, cleaning product, or you can add again melaleuca or any other essence. As a second example, I put um, a spray to clean your glass any glass or any mirrors as well. In this case, we're still using white vinegar and water as a base. As you can see from the previous one, the vinegar is slightly more into this solution and this is usually because it's more, it's stronger in cleaning any stain that might be on the glass. Usually we recommend uh, drops of citrus oils. So as I say, um, you know, here you can see lemon, lime, grapefruit, wild orange or citrus base. Usually, as I said at the beginning, all the oils that are citrus based are very good for glass and mirrors as well. The process is still the same, very simple. You add vinegar, water, and essential oils to a bottle, and you just spray it. As a third example, I put um, 
a solution to clean the stove. And in this case, I wanted to show you this one uh, because we're gonna use the baking soda. So we create that creamy powder that you're gonna leave to sit and rest. So we have baking soda, salt, which we say is good as a scrubbing agent. Tablespoon, we say apple cider vinegar or white vinegar is okay. Water and four to five drops of essential oils. And as you can see again, we have lemon or lime. So the citrus ones, you probably saw it. The citrus ones are very good for any cleaning. Not so good though for wood. We're gonna see the wood uh, in a bit. Um, in this case, you can also use, of course, melaleuca, in particular in the kitchen, but also in the toilet, as we say, to disinfect. Melaleuca is powerful as antibacterial and is also good on the floor, just to simply clean the floor. You're gonna mix all the ingredients together, and then you're gonna leave it on for 15 minutes, or maybe longer, depending on how hard the stains are on the surface. And then you can use a sponge or a gentle scrub to remove everything. So it's very good to remove any grease, any grime, and it's, you're gonna see it, it's gonna be also look really shiny. I have another type of scrub. This one is more for the bathroom. Thai stab toilet. Again, we use, we're gonna use the baking soda. And here I wanted to give you this one just to show you how to use the castile soap. You're gonna add water and vinegar. And guess what? Again, we're using uh, citrus oil. Lemon, lime, grapefruit, and again, you have the option to use melaleuca. In this case, with the baking soda and the castile soap, it's going to be gently softer. So the first one was more of a scrubby, you know, creating a scrub with the salt. So it was for a hard surface. In this case, it's going to be nice and softer. And so when you created it, again, the consistency should be a soft paste. So it's up to you. You can add more water, you can add more soap when you start to create it. And it's the same process. We're going to leave it on the area, but this time, this one is going to need to stay on the area for uh, an inferior time. So earlier it was around 15 minutes. In this case, you have 5 to 10 minutes. And then again, you can gently scrub it and you wipe it clean and it's going to be nice and um, shiny. Now, this specific one, usually when I make this one, I use a glass container. And you trying to do small batches because you don't need, as we said earlier, this is why it's also cost effective. You don't need a huge quantity. Um, so, you know, you create a, a cream, a paste that is enough for two to four applications. And sometimes if I do it and it's a bit too much, I actually put mine in the fridge. So it's staying nice and cool. But ideally you want to use it, you just want to make a small quantity. So it's always fresh also in terms of the essence. Um, earlier I mentioned the wood. So I just wanted to show you uh, a wood polish. And in this case, we're gonna use olive oil. Just a little bit of vinegar. Personally, I probably use less than a quarter of a cup of vinegar. And you can use 10 drops of essential oils. Now the citrus oils, like wild orange or lemon, or lemon I would use just a few drops. You're gonna use more drops, like the 10 suggested here, for oils like Arborivite. And this specific one for the wood with olive oil, 
is very nourishing. So if you have, like I can see, I have a very, you know, the original wood floor. So it tends to get very dry. With this one, with this wood polish, as soon as I put it on, I can see it. It's so shiny, clean, and, you know, you, you just see the difference immediately. As I said at the beginning, just be sure that the olive oil is uh, diluted and weight uh, a bit because you know the olive oil can be quite um, you know slippery so just be sure that the surface of the floor is dry and this is not just for the floor you can use it for uh, the furniture as well as last um, these are the main ones I wanted to show you. Of course, there are so many other ways to use the oils, and also so many oils that I didn't put here. But for example, you can also use oregano. Oregano can be used in particular in the kitchen as a cleaning surface, if you like the smell. I know it can be quite strong. And um now what's going to happen if you want uh, here i just decide to call it easy and fast solutions because you know mainly i wanted to focus on cleaning but we can use talking about uh, toxic free we can use oils as hair purifier in this case you're just going to put a few drops of peppermint maybe eucalyptus in a spray bottle with some water and you just spray and use it as a hair refreshing in the house or again you can do it at the moment with cinnamon and wild orange here i just gave you a few tips that i like to take for myself very simple and easy let's say you want to clean the house you want to hoover and maybe you don't really have time to put your diffuser on you can add a few drops of your favorite oil to your vacuum cleaner bag or even the filter. Just be sure that if the filter is plastic, uh, be sure that you don't want to leave any stain, like if you're using a citrusy oil. Um, you can also use a cotton pad, just put a few drops and put the pad in the vacuum cleaner bag. And, just, and then you're just gonna hoover. And as soon as you hoover, the essence, the fragrance is going to be in the hair. So again, it's just going to a nice touch to make your cleaning experience a little bit more pleasant. And you can choose any essence in this case, depending on exactly what you want to achieve, how is your mood, how do you feel. Um, also, the rubbish bin. Few drops, again, your favorite oil. Usually, I use lemon, lime, grapefruit, sometimes peppermint. You put a cotton pad and place it at the bottom of your rubbish bin. And this is gonna be good to eliminate any smell that might come from the rubbish bin. Another very simple solution, I call it the sticky remover. Now we were talking about reusing, recycling. So anytime we want to reuse some bottles or some containers, sometimes you find yourself in a situation where there is a label. And it might happen even in, with the doTERRA containers, you just take the label off and you have that glue sticky um, left you know, on the bottle. So what are you going to do? You're just going to add a few drops of lemon on a cloth or again a cotton or bamboo pad and you just move it around and immediately you're going to see that all that sticky material like the glue is going to get off very easily. Also, you can use the lemon as a super fast way to maybe clean around like, for example, the kitchen sink is going to make it nice and shiny. So these are just nice way to use the oils without you know, going into a complicated, uh, even if it's not really complicated, as you can see, all the way to use the oils are very simple. Uh, simple. Now, if you tell me, oof, but I don't really want to do this, maybe I want something that is ready. Well, Duterra thought about that. 
and I created the cleaner concentrate. Maybe some of you are already familiar with this. Again, the family is on guard. And as we said at the beginning, on guard is like a protective blend. You can see the ingredients here, wild orange, cloves, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Is ready, and this concentrate has so many uses. As you can see, it could be a multi-purpose cleaner. It could be used for bathrooms, and here you see all the way you diluted. Usually you diluted always with water. You can use it to wash your dishes. And if you have something that is very, requires a lot of attention, you don't have to dilute it. Important, I wouldn't use it, and I say it here, on hardwood floors and natural stone. Uh, on guard cleaner concentrate, again, nice way to save some money because you need just a little bit. Literally, this one I had it for so long because you just need few tablespoons, like two to three tablespoons to make your solution. And again, if you want to add a different, you know, essence to it, you can still do that. So this is all. Hopefully, I'm just going to give you some good ideas and you're going to feel a little bit more creative and have a little bit of more fun <laughs> when you want to clean your house. And if you have any questions, please let me know.